Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I just wanted to do a review of the book Cracks by Sheila Kohler. Now a lot of us know this book from the movie adaptation of the same name starring the very dreamy Eva Green and Juno Temple and I think uh, pretty much all of us had a crush on Miss G in, in that movie. Now I actually read this book years and years ago but it's been so long when I reread it recently it was kind of like I was reading the book for the first time and I'd actually forgotten just how dark this book is. The book makes the film look like a, a children's puppet show and I should also give a content warning for this book. It is very dark, it contains themes of sexual assault, violence and of course the book is dealing with minors as well so just be aware of that before you're reading the book and and so on. So Cracks is about a group of middle-aged women who reunite at a boarding school they used to attend in South Africa. Their reunion brings up memories of their time at this boarding school and in particular their teacher and swimming captain Miss G and also a missing member of their swimming team Fiamma. As the book unfolds we get to see the dynamics between the girls and Miss G who they seem to be very enamoured with and we also decide discover what happened to Fiamma. What's interesting about this book is the author actually puts herself as a character in this book and I did a bit of research on why that was and she said she wanted to blur the lines between fiction and non-fiction and actually the more I researched about her life and the more interviews I read about her in this book I've kind of come to the conclusion that a lot of this book is possibly partially autobiographical and there's a lot of reality in they're disguised as fiction. So what I liked about this book is it's incredibly atmospheric. You feel like you're in that boarding school with them at times and you really get a sense of the hot South African summers. You can feel the heat through the pages at times, it's really intense. The book is so incredibly raw and uncomfortably true to life and it gives a very realistic portrayal of the way teenage girls can be, kind of how savage they can be at times, how cruel and a lot of the sexual repression that comes with, you know, growing up in a society which instills internalised misogyny and homophobia in young girls and women. As as you read the book you see there's a lot of double standards with their same-sex attractions and I think especially if you read in between the lines of the book you will see that this repressed sexuality stays with them for the rest of their lives and not only that even though they're experiencing same-sex attraction they also have quite homophobic um, reactions especially towards the end of the book which is of course very true to life um, it's something I know to be true growing up casting lesbianism offers something that's disgusting, despite the fact that some of us were lesbians. So the book says quite a lot about the violent side of human nature and the kind of crushing um, misogyny girls and women uh, can deal with. I believe the book is set in the 1960s and of course the 60s and the 70s were very much a time where kind of sexual assault and domestic violence was very much not spoken about and swept under the carpet. It wasn't just uh, women and young girls who were at the receiving end of this, it was also um, young boys. So it was it was really uh, quite, quite disturbing. Disturbing. But all in all, the book's very well written, it's incredibly interesting, it's, it's one of the darkest books I've ever read and I've read a lot of the Marquis de Sade. The reason this book is so dark is because it strikes a chord with the reality of what a lot of us don't talk about. Okay guys, if you've read the book, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for Instant Disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!